The Phoenician civilization, a beacon of maritime ingenuity nestled along the eastern shores of the Mediterranean, remains an intriguing chapter in the annals of ancient history. Flourishing between 1500 before the Common Era and 300 before the Common Era, the Phoenicians forged a legacy that, while lacking the grandeur of pyramids or the philosophical treatises of their contemporaries, resonates through time. Their city-states, such as Tyre, Sidon, and Byblos, carved an indomitable presence along the rugged Levantine coast, laying the foundations for maritime mastery, vibrant trade networks, and cultural contributions that echoed across the waves and sands of antiquity. In this exploration, we embark on a journey through the corridors of time to unveil the tales of the Purple People and the legacy they etched upon the shores of the ancient Mediterranean. From their humble beginnings to encounters with empires, we unravel the enigma of the Phoenician civilization, a civilization whose echoes continue to ripple through the currents of history. Nestled within the narrow strip of land known as the Levant, the Phoenician civilization emerged as a maritime marvel amid the rugged contours of the eastern Mediterranean. This region, encompassing parts of present-day Lebanon, Syria, and Israel, bore witness to the rise of city-states that would become synonymous with seafaring prowess and commercial acumen. The geography of the Levant, defined by mountainous terrain and limited arable land, compelled the Phoenicians to cast their gaze seaward, laying the foundations for a civilization intricately entwined with the ebb and flow of the Mediterranean tides. The earliest vestiges of Phoenician history trace back to around 1500 before the Common Era, when these enterprising people began to establish settlements along the coastal periphery. These nascent communities, including the notable cities of Tyre, Sidon, and Byblos, laid the groundwork for what would evolve into a maritime empire. Engaged in agriculture, fishing, and, eventually, trade, the Phoenicians found themselves inextricably linked to the sea, a relationship that would shape their destiny and contribute to their prominence on the ancient stage. As the Phoenicians sought sustenance from the bounty of the Mediterranean, they also found themselves at the crossroads of diverse cultures and civilizations. The strategic location of the Levant facilitated interactions with the Egyptians to the south, Mesopotamians to the east, and Anatolians to the north. These exchanges fostered a melting pot of influences that permeated the Phoenician way of life, setting the stage for the synthesis of cultural elements that would distinguish their civilization. The coastal geography, while limiting agricultural opportunities, offered a unique advantage to the Phoenicians, access to the abundant resources of the sea. From the azure waters, they extracted not only sustenance but also the raw materials that would catapult them to prominence on the world stage. It was against this backdrop that the Phoenicians honed their seafaring skills, transforming their modest settlements into bustling hubs of maritime trade and cultural exchange. The heartbeat of the Phoenician civilization resounded in the rhythmic cadence of waves against the hulls of their ships. Renowned as master shipbuilders and fearless sailors, the Phoenicians established themselves as unparalleled navigators of the ancient world. It was their maritime prowess that would set them adrift on the tides of prosperity, transforming coastal city-states into veritable empires of the sea. Central to Phoenician success was their development and refinement of shipbuilding techniques. Crafting vessels suited to the challenges of the Mediterranean, they pioneered the construction of the galley, a versatile ship propelled by oars and sails. This innovation allowed them to navigate both open seas and coastal waters with unparalleled agility, laying the foundation for their dominance in maritime trade. The Phoenician mariners, undeterred by the vastness of the Mediterranean, embarked on journeys that spanned the known world. Their trade routes interconnected the eastern and western shores, reaching as far as the British Isles and the coast of North Africa. It was this expansive network that facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultural influences, turning the Phoenician cities into bustling cosmopolitan centers. At the heart of their maritime endeavors was the pursuit of coveted resources. Foremost among these was the famous purple dye extracted from the murex shellfish, found abundantly in the waters surrounding Tyre and Sidon. This luxurious dye, renowned for its vibrant hue and resistance to fading, became a symbol of prestige and wealth. 
The Phoenicians, often referred to as the Purple People, monopolized its production and trade, solidifying their economic power and influence. Cedar wood, harvested from the lush forests of Lebanon, was another prized commodity. The Phoenicians' expertise in forestry and woodworking made their ships not only formidable vessels of trade but also carriers of a natural resource highly sought after for construction and craftsmanship across the ancient world. Navigating the unpredictable waters, the Phoenicians employed celestial navigation, coastal landmarks, and an intimate understanding of wind patterns to chart their course. This mastery of the seas not only facilitated commerce but also positioned the Phoenicians as explorers, pushing the boundaries of the known world. The prosperity of the Phoenician civilization unfolded like a vibrant tapestry woven from the threads of trade and commerce. Situated at the crossroads of the ancient world, the Phoenician city-states, with Tyre and Sidon at the forefront, emerged as economic powerhouses orchestrating a symphony of exchange that resonated from the heart of the Levant to the farthest reaches of the Mediterranean. At the core of Phoenician trade was the intricate web of maritime routes that crisscrossed the Mediterranean. Their ships, laden with goods and cultural influences, navigated the sea lanes with unparalleled skill. The cities of Tyre, Sidon, and Byblos became bustling emporiums where the treasures of the known world converged creating a melting pot of diverse commodities and ideas. Foremost among the Phoenicians sought after exports was the elusive purple dye extracted from the Murex shellfish. The Tyrian purple, as it came to be known, was a symbol of royalty and luxury. Its production monopoly granted the Phoenicians not only economic advantage but also a mystique that captivated the imaginations of distant lands. The vibrant hue of their dye adorned the robes of monarchs and elites, becoming a marker of opulence coveted far and wide. In addition to the precious purple dye, the Phoenicians traded in a myriad of goods that spoke to the richness of their land. The cedars of Lebanon, with their straight and sturdy timber, were in high demand for construction and shipbuilding. Phoenician artisans crafted intricate metalwork, and their glassware, renowned for its quality and craftsmanship, adorned the tables of the elite across the Mediterranean. Glass, in particular, showcased the Phoenicians' technological prowess. They were among the first to produce transparent glass, elevating their glassware to a level of sophistication unmatched in their time. The intricate glass artifacts produced in Phoenician workshops found their way into the homes of nobility and the sanctuaries of distant lands. The breadth of Phoenician trade extended far beyond the Mediterranean basin. Their ships ventured into the Atlantic, reaching the shores of present-day Britain, where they traded metals and other commodities with local populations. The Phoenicians also sailed south, establishing trade links with regions as distant as present-day Sri Lanka. While their commercial pursuits were often peaceful, the Phoenicians were not strangers to the harsh realities of geopolitics. Their strategic location drew the attention of powerful empires, including the Assyrians, Babylonians, and Persians, each seeking to control the lucrative trade routes that traversed Phoenician waters. As the Phoenician ships sailed from port to port, laden with the treasures of the known world, they carried not only goods but also the seeds of cultural exchange. The Phoenician alphabet, a simple yet revolutionary writing system, served as a catalyst for communication and record-keeping. Its influence reverberated through the corridors of time, contributing to the development of subsequent writing systems in the ancient and modern world. The religious landscape of the Phoenicians was a mosaic of diverse gods and goddesses, with each city-state often venerating its own divine pantheon. El, the chief god, held a paramount position, embodying the cosmic order and supreme power. Astarte, the goddess of fertility and war, captivated the hearts of worshippers and found her place in the sacred texts and rituals of the Phoenicians. Baal, the storm and fertility god, also played a significant role in their religious cosmology. These deities, however, were not confined to a singular narrative. The Phoenicians, in their interactions with neighboring cultures, absorbed and integrated foreign gods into their own religious practices. This syncretic approach created a dynamic and evolving pantheon, 
reflecting the cosmopolitan nature of Phoenician city-states. Central to Phoenician religious life were elaborate rituals and ceremonies conducted in honor of their deities. Temples dedicated to the gods adorned the city landscapes, their grandeur reflecting the wealth and devotion of the purple people. The Temple of Melkart in Tyre and the Temple of Astarte in Sidon stood as iconic symbols of religious fervor and architectural ingenuity. Animal sacrifices, libations, and processions were integral components of Phoenician religious ceremonies. These rituals sought to maintain cosmic harmony, ensure agricultural fertility, and invoke divine protection for maritime endeavors. The priests and priestesses, clad in sacred vestments, officiated these ceremonies, acting as conduits between the mortal realm and the divine. The sacred city of Byblos, a significant center of religious pilgrimage, housed the renowned temple of the obelisks. Here, the Phoenicians engaged in rites to honor Adonis, a deity associated with cycles of life, death, and rebirth. The poignant myth of Adonis, whose love story with Astarte mirrored the changing seasons, added layers of symbolism to Phoenician religious narratives. Beyond their religious practices, the Phoenicians made enduring cultural contributions that echoed through the corridors of time. Among their most remarkable legacies was the Phoenician alphabet, a system of writing that laid the groundwork for several ancient and modern scripts. The simplicity and adaptability of the alphabet facilitated communication and record-keeping, proving to be a transformative cultural export. Art and craftsmanship also flourished in Phoenician society. Intricate metalwork, delicate ivory carvings, and vibrant glassware showcased their artistic prowess. The iconic Phoenician amphorae, adorned with intricate patterns and vibrant hues, became prized commodities in the flourishing trade networks of the Mediterranean. As the Phoenicians navigated the seas, their cultural influence permeated the lands they encountered. The spread of their alphabet facilitated a written record of diverse languages, and Phoenician artistic motifs found resonance in the art of neighboring cultures. At the heart of Phoenician political organization were the city-states, fortified enclaves nestled along the narrow strip of the Levant. Tyre, with its formidable island setting, and Sidon, strategically located on the mainland, were among the foremost centers of Phoenician power. Byblos, with its renowned port and thriving trade, added its own distinctive flair to the Phoenician political tapestry. Each city-state operated as an autonomous entity, with its own governance structure and leadership. Monarchies and oligarchies were common forms of government. Monarchs, often referred to as kings, wielded authority over Tyre and Sidon, while oligarchies, where power was concentrated in the hands of a select few, governed Byblos and other city-states. This diversity in governance underscored the decentralized nature of Phoenician political life. While each city-state maintained a degree of autonomy, they were bound by a shared linguistic, cultural, and economic identity. The Phoenician cities engaged in alliances and treaties, recognizing the mutual benefits of cooperation, especially in matters of defense and trade. Despite occasional rivalries, the Phoenician city-states collectively navigated the challenges posed by external forces, including encroachments by powerful empires. The interconnected autonomy of the city-states was particularly evident in times of crisis or external threats. When faced with the expansionist ambitions of the Assyrians, Babylonians, and later the Persians, the Phoenician cities, recognizing the strength and unity, often banded together to withstand the pressures of imperial conquest. This collective resilience allowed the Phoenicians to weather geopolitical storms and preserve their cultural and economic independence. The economic prosperity of the Phoenician city-states played a pivotal role in shaping their political dynamics. The wealth generated through maritime trade, especially the coveted purple dye and cedar wood exports, fortified the coffers of Tyre, Sidon, and Byblos. Economic prowess translated into political influence, and the rulers of these city-states leveraged their maritime and commercial achievements to consolidate power and maintain stability. In this context, Tyre emerged as a preeminent maritime power, its island setting providing a natural fortress against external threats. 
The wealth accumulated through trade allowed Tyre to build a formidable navy, further securing its dominance in the Mediterranean. Sidon, with its prosperous trade routes and skilled artisans, also commanded influence, while Byblos thrived as a vital trade hub and center of cultural exchange. The decentralized political structure of the Phoenician city-states, marked by autonomous governance and interconnected relationships, left a lasting legacy. It foreshadowed the later development of Greek city-states and their federations, showcasing the enduring influence of Phoenician political innovation on the broader political landscape of the ancient Mediterranean. In the 9th century before the Common Era, the Assyrian Empire, a formidable force in the ancient Near East, set its sights on the prosperous Phoenician city-states. Initially, the Assyrians sought to control lucrative trade routes and extract tribute from the wealth accumulated by Tyre and Sidon. The city-states, recognizing the inevitability of Assyrian dominance, often acquiesced to the imperial demands to preserve their economic interests. However, the Assyrian penchant for expansion and control proved insatiable. Tyre and Sidon, along with other coastal regions, became part of the Assyrian Empire, subject to its rule and administrative structures. The Assyrians, with their military might and strategic acumen, left an indelible mark on the Phoenician city-states, shaping the dynamics of power and diplomacy in the region. As the Assyrian Empire waned, the Babylonians rose to prominence under the reign of Nebuchadnezzar II. In the 6th century before the Common Era, the Babylonians asserted their dominance over the Phoenician city-states, including Tyre and Sidon. The Babylonian conquest marked a shift in the geopolitical landscape, with the Purple People adapting to a new imperial order. Under Babylonian rule, the Phoenician cities continued to contribute to the empire's economic engine, participating in trade and cultural exchange. Despite the imperial yoke, the Phoenicians maintained elements of their autonomy, navigating the complexities of imperial governance with a keen eye on preserving their unique identity. The rise of the Persian Empire, led by Cyrus the Great, brought another chapter of imperial encounters for the Phoenician civilization. In the 6th century before the Common Era, Cyrus conquered Babylon, and the Phoenician city-states fell under Persian hegemony. Once again, the Purple People found themselves entangled in the machinations of imperial politics, contributing their maritime and economic expertise to the vast Persian network. Under Persian rule, the Phoenicians played a crucial role in the administration of the empire's maritime affairs. Their ships and sailors became integral components of the Persian navy, projecting imperial power across the seas. Despite the subjugation, the Phoenicians managed to navigate this imperial encounter with a degree of autonomy, preserving key aspects of their cultural and economic identity. The arrival of Alexander the Great in the 4th century before the Common Era marked a transformative moment for the Phoenician civilization. Alexander, driven by a vision of conquest and influenced by the cultural exchange fostered by the Phoenicians, sought to integrate these maritime hubs into his vast empire. Tyre, however, stood as a formidable obstacle to Alexander's ambitions. The island city resisted his advances, leading to the famous Siege of Tyre in 332 before the Common Era. Alexander, displaying strategic ingenuity, constructed a causeway to breach the island fortress, subduing Tyre after a prolonged and arduous campaign. The conquest of Tyre marked the end of Phoenician autonomy, as Alexander's empire stretched across the known world. The encounters with empires left an indelible imprint on the Phoenician civilization. While the city-states witnessed shifts in political control and adaptations to imperial rule, their maritime expertise, cultural contributions, and economic prowess endured. The Phoenicians, through their encounters with empires, became conduits of knowledge, transmitting the legacy of their civilization to the wider reaches of the ancient world. The decline of the Phoenician civilization was a multifaceted process, influenced by internal and external factors. The encroachments of powerful empires, such as the Assyrians, Babylonians, and Persians, eroded the political autonomy of the city-states. While the Phoenicians adapted to imperial rule, the loss of self-governance diminished their once unrivaled influence in the Mediterranean. 
Internal strife and rivalries among the city-states also played a role in the decline. Competition for resources, disputes over trade routes, and occasional conflicts weakened the cohesiveness that had once defined the Phoenician identity. The rise of new regional powers further exacerbated these internal tensions, leading to a gradual fragmentation of the once unified maritime network. The conquest of Alexander the Great in 332 before the Common Era delivered a decisive blow to Phoenician autonomy. While Alexander admired the cultural contributions of the Phoenicians, the imposition of Hellenistic influence marked a significant shift. The decline of Tyre, the iconic island city that had withstood centuries of challenges, symbolized the waning of Phoenician political prominence. While the political independence of the Phoenician city-states waned, their cultural and economic legacy endured, weaving itself into the fabric of the ancient world. The Phoenicians, through their maritime endeavors, had already disseminated their influence far and wide. The Phoenician alphabet, a hallmark of their cultural contributions, continued to thrive and evolve, laying the groundwork for the writing systems of subsequent civilizations. The economic acumen of the Phoenicians left an indelible mark on the Mediterranean trade networks. The skills of their sailors, the design of their ships, and the establishment of far-reaching trade routes became templates for successive maritime powers. The cultural fusion forged in the Phoenician crucible persisted, influencing the art, architecture, and religious practices of the Mediterranean region. Carthage, a Phoenician colony in North Africa, emerged as a powerful successor to the declining Phoenician city-states. Carthage not only inherited the maritime traditions of its Phoenician forebears but also carved out its own formidable empire, becoming a dominant force in the western Mediterranean. The Punic Wars, fought between Rome and Carthage, reflected the enduring influence of Phoenician maritime strategies. The modern rediscovery of Phoenician sites, including the submerged ruins of ancient Tyre and the archaeological treasures of Byblos, has provided a deeper understanding of their civilization. These excavations have unearthed evidence of sophisticated urban planning, advanced metallurgy, and intricate craftsmanship, reaffirming the technological and cultural achievements of the Phoenicians. In conclusion, the Phoenician civilization, though confined to the pages of history, sails on as an immortal legacy. Their legacy is not just confined to the ruins of ancient cities or the artifacts unearthed by archaeologists. It lives on in the alphabets we use, the maritime routes we navigate, and the cultural exchange that defines our interconnected world. The Purple People, with their audacious voyages and cultural contributions, continue to inspire the dreamers and innovators who set sail beyond the horizons, chasing the winds that once filled the sails of the Phoenician ships. The tale of the Phoenicians is not just a chapter in history. It is an eternal voyage that sails beyond the horizon of time.